Third and last time, the positive emotions of thought form the side of the stream which carries one to fortune. The negative emotions form the side which carries one down to lack and never having enough. Feeling is the key. Feeling is the key. Feeling is the key. I encourage you to write it down. Feeling is the key. Feeling is the key. Again, we're going to take just a second here. Okay. I want to rip through these slides. I want you to really grab this. I've read this statement a thousand times and I will continue to read it a thousand times from my own side because we can never hear this enough. So he says, I love the big money. We love it. Ellie said, some of this was in a previous paradigm shift challenge. Absolutely. Now, Ellie's a perfect example of how she shifted her money paradigm, right? Ellie, you're, I, I believe, 10 to 12,000 uh, a month when you got into the program, right? Bang, right up to the 50 within six month time period. What was going on? You shifted everything internally. We went through the business ideas to help you rethink some things, but it was all you. You did it all. You did the transformation of the feeling inside of you embracing everything differently. And that goes for anybody else that's transformed their income in a big way. Okay, anyone have questions on this? It's extraordinarily simple. And like I mentioned three times now already, many of you already saw it, but do you have any questions now in this new version of yourself? I love it, Cleo. Money loves me. Money is my friend. Now, we were actually talking about this a little bit earlier on our, on our little coaching call here with Cleo and, and Mika, but for everybody else on the call, if you have an enemy around money, that's why it's never there. If you become friends with money, it's always there. Think about your friends in your life and think about the people you dislike. Do you invite the people you dislike over for coffee every morning? Probably not. But your best friends and your family and the people that you love, do you invite them over for maybe lunch or do you go out to lunch with them? Yes, because you want to spend time with that. Think about money as an energy and people energy. It's the same exact concept. If you hate money, it's always a challenge. It's your enemy. It's like the thing that always holds you back. You are literally making sure that you attract that same scenario in your life because of the way you feel around money. But if you embrace money as basically a friend, you change that feeling around money. That's what he's talking about here. You become friends with something, it's going to come more into your life. Basically, the law of attraction there. All right. Now, let's put this into words a little bit more. How do we apply this? What do we need to do from here? It's very important, the how-to. So, many of you have heard this statement a thousand times. Feeling is our conscious awareness of the vibration we're in. Whew. So, let's go back to the slide really quick. So, therefore, it says the positive vibrations of thought form the side to, that carries you upward to fortune. The negative vibrations of thought form the side that goes down the lack. Okay, that's what that would mean. Feeling is our awareness of the vibration that we're in, which level of frequency we're on. And vibration precedes a manifestation every single time. What does that mean? You have to be in the frequency of what you desire, and that's why it comes to you. Or it doesn't come to you because you're on the frequency of not having that thing. Therefore, a change in feeling comes before big income increases. Mm. Taking some time again. Now, let's look at the right-hand side here, right? We know that the power is coming to and through us at all times, right? We have this spiritual essence, this power that comes here, down, into our consciousness in order for us to think, right? That's where our thoughts will come from, our power, right? We direct this energy with the positive side of thoughts or the negative side of thoughts. We get to choose, but this power just is. God is, universe is, this power just is. Mm. 
So if we direct this towards the negative side of emotion, what goes on? Look on the right-hand side there. I believe I can earn more money. On a conscious level, we can say, I believe I can earn 50 grand per month. But on a subconscious level, what happens? I never have enough fear of money, lack full around money. So we can know we can do much better. And if we have the feeling, the vibrational state that we're in around money that's lack, that's what we keep receiving. Law of vibration, then the law of attraction. It's like what Bob said over the weekend. We don't get what we want. We get what we are. What are we? Whatever is going on subconsciously. 